my fellow chocolatiers, how the devil is everyone? Today we're doing a POV drive. So last month you would have seen me do a video going over to the Isle of Wight to collect some spuds. That was on a Sunday, well this is the Tuesday, so two days later I'm going back to go collect some more. But obviously I'm going to release this video quite a bit later because obviously you don't want to see me doing the same trip twice back to back. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll um, wait until we're available to go until he lets us go and then we'll crack onto this farm. It's only about half hour away. So yeah, not too bad. So we should be there about quarter to two when we eventually get let off the boat. <laughs> So a few trucks on this time. On Sunday it was literally just me, I was the only truck that was on there. Whereas today, there was another one in front of me, there's one behind me, and then there's an empty trailer as well. So yeah. Again, this is a POV video. So if you don't like POV videos and they make you feel funny, then switch off, don't watch it. But if you don't mind them, then crack on and watch, and hopefully it'll be an enjoyable experience for you. So, like I said, it's a half hour drive to the farm, half hour drive back, so it'll be about an hour long video, roughly. Yeah, so I managed to get on an hour earlier today, whereas last time I was late because of traffic. So I could have effectively been two hours earlier today, but they didn't have space on the 11 o'clock, so I got on the 12 o'clock instead, even though I was booked on the 1. So I phone phoned up and they let me on. I did try to rebook my return for half three, but they don't have space for that, so I'll just get my usual booked one of half past four back and we'll uh, get on our way then. Don't know what the hold up is. Oh, is it because they've got cars they bought over that they got to drive in and out? I don't know. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's what we want. Don't stop me. Let me go. I make myself look an idiot for you lot, so. <laughs> Have a camera on me head. On me hat. So we are going to look a bit of a wally, but it's fine, it is what it is. It's not every day you see someone driving around with a camera on their head, but today is one of them days. So hopefully we can get straight out and not have to sit here and have everyone staring at me with a camera on me head. <laughs> be fun. But he stops us now. He's gonna stop me, any he? Guaranteed. Oh. Is he letting me go? Is he letting me go? So we'll get out. There's, oh, there's cars going that way, are they? That's fine by me. Alright, let's head on off to where the farm is. Now for some reason, one of the uh, road restrictions for some reason overlaps the road I've got to go across so the sat-nav doesn't like the route I take. So uh, we'll ignore it for a little bit until it corrects itself, but I know pretty much where I'm going, so we'll uh, figure that out as we go. I only went there two days ago, so it shouldn't be too hard to find out where I'm going. Yep, we're going to hold up the roundabout now. I don't know what the hold up is. We've got a green light ahead of us. Someone not figured out they can go around the truck up there. There we go. So I'll try and not whip my head round too fast, but obviously I am still trying to drive at the end of the day, so you have to bear with me there. Ah. I reckon he forgot to put it on brake, you watch. <laughs> ah, he's waiting for his mate behind, I take it. I take it, they've come over together. We need to go in a convoy. I need to hold my hand. Yeah, don't come over this way because I need that lane a bit. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, let's climb on up this hill. Luckily, we're nice and light. But we will be heavy coming down it later. <laughs> I hope the view is a bit better on this one. The last POV I've done, the camera is a bit ski whiffed, so I had to sort of tilt the video to the side slightly. So I'm hoping it's. I'm sort of wearing my hat a bit wonky, so hopefully it kind of uh, levels out. Either that or I've got it completely the wrong way and it's going to be really, really kinked over. <laughs> so I'll have to rectify it in editing. So yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Nice little crossing today. It was nice and smooth today. It was quite, quite a nice day to be fair. I'll stick the aircon on so we don't open the windows because otherwise you just get nothing but air, uh, wind noise. The microphone all the way up there. So I'm hoping. Oh no, no, I've already worked out my head. I'm not going to be able to make Middlesbrough today. I'll probably stop sort of near Owls. Um, not Owlsford. Alfreton. I'll stop near Alfreton again tonight, probably. Like I did last time. Because. I got. Plenty of driving time, it's me working time more than anything. I started at uh, 10 past 7 this morning, so I can go on till 10 past 10 tonight. So if I get the half four ferry over, I'll land back at Southampton at half past 5, which then gives me four and a half hours to get as far up as I can. Or four, well, four hours and 50 minutes, but then it'll be a case of taking a four and a half to take drive another 20 minutes, so not really worth it. Um, so, I will probably, yeah, yeah, because it's about five and a half hours up to Middlesbrough from Southampton, so with a 45, it's just not possible to make it with my working time to date, which is fine. If I could have got the hour, hour earlier ferry, I'm, I don't think I would have still made it, because I would have landed at half four and then, yeah, it would have still been more than five hours up there with a break. It's practically six hours, six six and a quarter hours there with a break. Yeah. Fair old drive up, so that'll be getting tipped off in the morning at some point. Like I said, I'll probably stop near Alfred Turn again. Prince of Wales used to deliver there once or twice. Didn't really deliver there that often. It was always like the last drop on the way back to the ferry, so it was like, get there, rush in, throw everything in the kitchen, get the paperwork, sign them run off as quickly as possible because <laughs> there's like counting down the seconds to get back to the boat <sighs> approaching 40 limit very good oh, ambulance I think that's the only thing they'll ever hold a uh, ferry up for is an ambulance because I've had that before um, actually worked in my favour to be honest uh, that's when I was van driving that obviously I had a race down to get to the ferry um, definitely not breaking any speed limits to get there because I was loaded late but um, I did say to my boss that day don't look at the tracker <laughs> um, but I would have missed the ferry by a few minutes but luckily for me in a way not, not lucky for the person in the ambulance the, um, the ambulance the hospital or whatever obviously phoned up ahead and said yeah there's someone that's uh, on an ambulance and needs to be shipped over to the island or to, I can't remember which way it was I think it, I'm pretty sure it's from Southampton going to the island or something I don't know no no it's the other way oh not checking the track thing must have been a different thing yeah I think I was heading back down to the ferry uh, this side and I would have missed the ferry by like five minutes but like I said, someone needed to obviously go to Southampton General Hospital, so uh, they held the ferry up for um, the ambulance, uh, so I managed to get on. So unfortunately, someone's suffering was uh, <laughs> beneficial to me in a way. Sounds wrong, doesn't it? But it is what it is. Obviously, last year I wanted anyone to get hurt, but it saved me an hour that day. <laughs>
Probably going to be a bit busier today on the road as well because uh, being a weekday and all that. Sunday was a nice little drive over on the island because I didn't get held up by anyone or anything like that really, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, see the circus tent over there. I bet when they come over they take up quite a lot of the ferry. <laughs> they got quite a few trucks and they're quite a bit bigger than me. And obviously they run on a showman's license so they can pull their normal trailer which is the fairground ride. And then they can pull their living accommodation. <coughs> oh. Then they're allowed to pull their living accommodation behind that as well. So essentially you'll see them with a like 45 foot, maybe a 50 foot trailer. And then pulling the caravan behind it as well. Which is mental. But hey, that's what you can do on a showman's license. Just imagine pulling a normal car caravan behind a truck. If it catches anything, you just tear the thing to pieces. <laughs> well, obviously, a lot of places that where I used to live in Andover, they usually have a um, not a circus, but they have a fairground normally near the uh, field where I used to live in Andover and uh, obviously they all got to bump up the curb to get onto the field to lay the fairground out used to be on the farmers field the other side but that's all been turned into houses now so that don't exist let's let this ambulance go um, yeah so obviously they always got to bump up the curb to um, that car's coming to get onto the field to set up and of course if there are wheels on the caravan gets stuck on the curb or something and they're still pulling forward with the truck. The truck is just tearing half without even thinking about it. <laughs> right. Head on on down to Newport. Hopefully this battery will last for the first part of the journey anyway. I'm using one of the old GoPro batteries which is the last one left because the others keep dying too soon. So hopefully it lasts for half an hour. We'll see what happens. Depends how slow everyone drives and at the moment it's not particularly quick. 50 limit and we're doing 22. <laughs> Turn the aircon off for me legs, my legs are getting cold. Oh, it's very blowy over here again. And you do get struck by all the winds coming across the channel. Hopefully if the battery does die, it's somewhere where it's convenient to stop where I can just change it quickly. <laughs> Mind it, a drive out's more exciting because I'm heavy then. I'm going to drive back even. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit of traffic today I think. That's right, I've got all the time in the world. Because like I said, I couldn't change my return journey so... Uh, We've got like an additional hour to try and get back to the ferry, so not really too much of a bother. They won't want me turning up at the ferry port too early, so I might even pull in here and park up for half hour or so before I head down to the ferry port. But we'll see what happens. Depends how many other people are parked in there when I get there.
Actually, two jobs I've done where I've had to come over here quite regularly. One of them was when I used to drive for West House Transport, and that was delivering Avon to the Avon ladies. So I used to come over here on a Wednesday once every three weeks. And I was in that job for 17 months. And then when I went to Cooper Foods, they used to... Uh, for the first few years I was there, they only had one drop over here, which was done on the Southampton run. So... And that was only on a Wednesday as well, yeah. Because it was part of the Fuller's group, so we had to do the pubs they wanted us to do. And one of them just happened to be over here. So, um, yeah. But eventually, um, the sales team managed to get quite a few more customers over here. So it actually became its own run that went out. At first, it was just twice a week it used to go out on a Tuesday and Thursday. And then... They managed to get that many more customers that used to do a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Saturday. So it became a free a day free free day a week trip over here. Um I never did the Saturday uh, no, actually tell a lie. I did the Saturday ones a couple of times on overtime. But um Yeah, I was actually the first driver to start doing the route out here when they, they yeah, started doing that. So I scoped the place out really and sort of learnt how it went, the best way to do it. And uh I was quite high, highly uh, regarded in that company, actually. Uh, uh, unofficial title of uh, head driver, essentially. And they used to get me to train all the other drivers up and everything. I used to used to enjoy that job, but unfortunately, 40 hours a week van driving doesn't pay the bills like a 60 or 70 hour a week truck driving job does. <laughs> train up all the new drivers and everything anyway yeah I used to come over here because I'd done it when it was just once a week and then they changed it to twice a week so yeah for best part of two years I came over here twice a week <laughs> that's a lot of time sat on a ferry and a lot of time sat waiting for a ferry you know you think usually I generally get to the first ferry sort of straight away and straight on, so I never have to wait. Then it's an hour here, then get to the ferry. Generally, miss one, have to sit an hour for the next ferry to turn up, and then sit an hour on that ferry. And the thing is, in winter, it's even worse because it's every hour and a half rather than every hour. <laughs> so, yeah, I spent a lot of time waiting around. I used to enjoy it though. And there's a nice little cafe, I think it's called Breeze Cafe or something like that, right near the ferry port. I used to go there and get some fish and chips. They cook everything nice and fresh, so quite nice. Anyway, enough about that. <laughs> I am a veteran traveller of the Red Funnel Ferry. <laughs> this is not my first rodeo. Guess at a point where you can uh, recite the safety message every time you're on it. Good, the lights are changing, so we're not going to be sat on the yellow box markings. We can go up through the town, but there's no need really. I'll just go around, down to the next roundabout and turn a right and go up that way. But we will come back through the town, because it's the way to go. Go, go, go! Taxi's gonna try and squeeze me out here. I reckon. They're gonna pass me on the roundabout because that would be silly. <laughs> enough on that side now anyway. So I'll say if I'm going round the roundabout I can't see nothing on my left hand side so if anyone gets hit by the trailer I'm not going to see it until uh, well someone beeps at me or something or till uh, my back of my trailer has gone past him and I can see him all crippled in the corner. Unfortunately it's too wide for me to go left there. 
Or I'm too wide. It's not wide enough for me to go down the left of these cars. No, I'm going right. <laughs> I'm ignoring you, sat nav. A second, Mr. Bike Motorcyclist. Thank you. I don't know why I'm indicating. It's one way anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Last time I hit the curb, will I miss it this time? Nope, still got it. <laughs> Quite tight that one. I, think I don't want to get too far over to the right because I'll end up swinging into the parked cars, which is not something I want to do. Pass all these parked cars. It's <laughs> right, the first bit. It's up there, I need everyone to kind of stop, but very rarely do they. Yeah, you have to move over in this bit. I'll oh, bump up the curb there, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Or just back up, that would have been an easier option. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, if I just sit there waiting for cars, they'll just continue to plough down and I'll just never get anywhere. So sometimes you've got to be a bit more offensive. Drive on the offence. Or a bit more... Um, using the size of your vehicle. <laughs> well, they tell you not to do that in your test, which obviously don't do that in your test. Um, sometimes in the real world you have to do it because you just don't get a break otherwise. You'd never get anywhere. Fourth exit. Right, sat now telling me to take the fourth exit on this roundabout. You'll see this roundabout in a second. There is no way in hell I would ever be able to spin right round on this roundabout. I would be taking buildings out and barriers and fences and whatever. <laughs> take the fourth exit on this one. Right, I need you to go, pal. Thank you. There we go. We're up and around. Hi, Mini. Again, this is a fun bit of road because look at all the parked cars you got to try and get around. I'm sure nobody works on the island. 
<laughs> Everyone just comes over here to retire, I think. Oh, the car's coming down. There is a space for me to put in there, I think. Yep, just about. Come on, chop chop. So I don't have to stop. There we go. Because stopping obviously takes me a hell of a lot longer to get going and then uses a lot more fuel as well. So how do they teach you to drive, right? This is a bit of the road. For some reason there's a six foot six limit there. Or there. For some reason it, it goes onto this bit of road, that's why it doesn't like sending me this way. So now it's actually taking me the correct way on there now. So I'm only nine minutes away from apparently, but we'll see. Oh, already out committed. <laughs> Thank you. Good man. Very blowy out here. Was the other day as well. I think we might have a drier one this time. Well, it didn't exactly rain when I was there last time. Rain, oh, rain like buggery when I came across the crossing last time. But I only had a little bit of spitting when I was loading up. So nothing major. Hopefully this time it'll be completely dry. are very bumpy out here. speed limit now so we're going on up the speed a little bit oh golf's gonna try and overtake me come on then there we go <laughs> quite shocked normally everyone on the island drives slow as anything We'll be going this quickly on the way back because we'll be full of spuds. <laughs> I think I was 41,500 the other day, so I didn't quite have 28 ton on, I had about 20. Come on, John Maths. 25 and a half ton. So, yeah. Still quite a bit though. I had to do fertilizer after that so yeah yesterday yesterday I carried on up to Middlesbrough dropped the spuds off went down to Immingham so that was about five hours driving um, loaded up the fertilizer for two farms that I dropped off in Alsford this morning then uh, sat in random services for about an hour and 40 uh, hour and 20 minutes as I rebooked me ferry for the earlier one and then uh, Got on the 12 o'clock, which actually left at quarter past 12. And then, uh, 
yeah started this video I thought you know what I'm gonna do a POV video for you because I know how much people hate them <laughs> Almost there. Just got to go down through this little uh, tight bit and watch for cars coming up the hill. And then, then through the lanes. Oh, hi Van. Make sure my trailer gets around that. road's quite bumpy, it kind of snatches the wheel sometimes. Well, not, don't snatch the wheel, but it kind of chucks you to the side, so you got to like fight the momentum of the vehicle trying to pull you over. Sure, well, there we go. Engine brake on. I have some lunch on the ferry, because you, when you travel freight, you get a 50% off voucher, or well, the drivers do anyway. And, uh, yeah, so I had a burger and chips, and I seem to have chomped down on the inside of my cheek a little bit, so, a little bit sore. Never mind. Thank you. What's a truck doing down here? <laughs> Collecting taters. That's what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, it's the dog walkers. Uh, little Dutch hounds. <laughs> I do like the old sausage dogs. Our neighbours have got some, they're quite yappy little things. So I'll probably find them quite annoying, but they are cute. <laughs> Turn the right, will do. No one's coming out that way. And then right again, follow a road round to the left, and then turn left, and then left into the farm. Right, national speed limit, let's get up to 50. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> We're a bit too big to be doing 50 for a. Not that I couldn't, it just wouldn't be, uh... well, if someone's coming the other way, I wouldn't be able to stop in time, let's just say that. I'll take this one quite wide. Because we're going into a nice narrow little lane there. You can see, not much, uh, Wider than the truck, see. <laughs> Someone's at the bank here. Forty-nine. So four minutes later than I said to the farmer I'll be here. I said about quarter to two, so 
So then a little bit of traffic we had, that's not too bad, is it? Mind you, it took us a little while to get off the boat, then so that's probably where the time took. All right, let's go in here and go park up, ready to click on taters. Yeah, I know, there's things on my left, I know, I can see them. All right, we're here. I'll turn it off now. I will see you in a bit when I'm loaded and ready to go. Back to the boat. Right, eh? we are all loaded. That didn't take too long, actually. So we are loaded with 20 bags of spuds again. Bulgy curtains as usual when it is carrying this sort of stuff. So we've just got to try and squeeze our way out through this farm. Not really too bad. Uh, bags aren't bulging that bad. They uh, looked worse because it was. I'm kind of on a bit of a slope when I was parked, like loading up. So it looks worse than it is. But sometimes the bottom of the bag will go in the trailer nicely, and the top of the bag will still hang out a little bit. It's gonna be a bit of a pain. And there we go. The other two Arctics that are on the. Uh, ferry <laughs> they both came here as well they're supposed to be um, earlier than me but they obviously didn't get their ferry earlier so you know it is what it is and all that good stuff but never mind there we go truck is now self-leveled properly I probably needed a bit of extra air a bit more pressure to push the airbags up <laughs> anyway let's uh, pretty much go back the way we came ever so slightly because we actually go through Newport town rather than around the edge of it so because I think if we go back the way we came exactly I don't think we can uh, I think there's a bit of an S bend through some of the buildings another bit I came up to where I got a bit narrow with a car um, I don't think I can go that way where that car was going so obviously it's one way then it goes in a two way doesn't it but they come off and turn that way I don't think I could do that <laughs> I don't think I can make them turn so I've got to go an ever so slightly different way which is fine just means I've got to go through the actual town itself and look like an idiot with a camera on my head <laughs> uh oh hi van you gonna need the bag up actually you'll be able to go there maybe you go in there oh go on him. you back up them <laughs> there we go we're all sorted I'm gonna scrape on past you we'll be all right we're all good mm -hmm. give him a toot because I need to come right out here unless he went in their driveway it wouldn't be too bad but yeah yeah, I think those guys went a different way to me because they waited for each other off the boat. But um, I'm leaving my window open. I've cleaned up in here today, so there's no dust in here, but there'll probably be loads now. I've left the window open. <laughs> um, yeah, so they obviously waited for each other because they're coming together. And uh, I assume they went a different way because they were directly behind me up the hill behind on uh, in uh, Newport. But I got here quite a bit earlier, like a good five minutes before them because I managed to get like both my curtains unbuckled and um, one of them opened and the guy started sweeping out for me. The farmer jumped, I think he was in a bit of a rush, he jumped up started sweeping while I was still doing the curtain. So um, yeah. So I think they probably followed the sat nav exactly and probably came in from that road down back there. So where I've just turned left out of they probably came from the right. At a guess. Now they should have been on the 11 o'clock over here and then the 2 o'clock going back. So obviously they're not going to make the 2 o'clock because it's currently half past 2 well, half past two going back. So they're obviously not going to make that because... Um, uh, well, it's half past 2 now. <laughs> that ferry has left. So they again tried for the half 3 like I did but then I was trying to move my time forward not back. Uh, so obviously Neil Poir there. So, um, they're potentially going to be on the half four with me again. 
I'm going to be in time for the half free. I just won't be able to get on it. I'm going to go and try, of course. I'm going to go to the ferry port. I'm going to park up in lane 29. And I'm going to walk over and see what they say. If they say yes, I'll be like, okay. If they say no, I'll be like, okay. I'll wait. And I'll be like, is it okay for me to wait there? And if they say no, I'll be like, right. <laughs> I need to come through the terminal then, because I can't go through the little town bit. I shall know if I can or not. Anyway. In the last video I said about roadworks, well the roadworks were right here on the roundabout. So obviously with all these parked cars we had to come out here and the traffic lights at the roundabout were here and I think as they changed too quick that if we stopped back there behind all the parked cars we wouldn't have made it through the green light because I think that's what happened, I can't remember. So we ended up having to come forward and blocking the road up just so we had a chance of getting through the light. Thing is when they set up these temporary lights on them, they don't always account for a fully weighted 44 ton Arctic accelerating from a standstill. So by the time you got up to speed and got the lights, they've changed red, and you're like, ah, well, that's screwed everything up. <laughs> right. Let's crawl on up this hill. You want to know what sort of miles? fuel consumption of a big truck like this does when it's fully weighted going up a hill yeah it's not a lot <laughs> oh, full acceleration probably knock it down again that's going to be the gear it wants we're at 1.06 miles per gallon but it gets a little bit steeper here I don't even see that 1.7, 1.07 even. I'll get down to 6. 0 0.9, 0 0.8. 0 0.8 miles to the gallon. <laughs> That's more gallons than miles. Madness, isn't it? Zero point nine. Change gear. 1.04 of course as we gain a speed the consumption to go up because obviously we're going faster Not point zero eight was our lowest that's a fun game all right enough of that nonsense Back to ferry. This rate, I'm gonna ride there like at three o'clock. So I might pull up on that lay-by and wait until half three and then drive down. So in that way, if they can get me on half three, they'll get me on. If they can't, then they won't send me away because I'll be like, oh, just wait for the next one. A bit heavier, so we're going to take it a bit easier along here. I think when I get back over to mainland, I think I'm going to run up to Cherwell Valley and have a shower there before I go any further up. Definitely need one. <laughs> I haven't had a chance the past couple of days because I've been trying to sort of max me hours out or do the best I can with me hours. But I should have time to grab one at Sherwell Valley later. Which will be nice and refreshing. Years. If you like sitting on the ferry but you don't like too many people sitting around you, just stink. It's easy, people won't sit next to you then. <laughs> yeah, 
with all this rain we've been having, it's been quite muggy, so it's been a bit of a sweat fest. But, ah, we'll manage. We'll get on, boy. Right, don't worry about me driving in the hedge. <laughs> Remember boys and girls, it's a lot easier for a car to slow down and manoeuvre than it is a truck. <laughs> Though sometimes when people was driving it's actually quicker for me to actually slow down and manoeuvre the Ooh, rabbit, and dinner. Uh, it's probably actually quicker for me to manoeuvre half the time. Some of the quality of people's driving. Back on that little bunny that ran across the road, or hare, or whatever it was. I'm not a fan of rabbit, don't like it, too rich for me. Not a fan of most of the game meats. Don't mind a bit of venison. But again, can't eat too much of it. I mean, it would have been easier if he just went, because he was already kind of out on the road. Oh, truck coming the other way. God. Wally. They should have just gone. It would have been a lot easier. I was bloody close to them then. Because that truck coming the other way. When I'm saying that, I don't suppose people around here come across that many Arctics really, do they? Probably get a few over here, not as many as you'd get on the on the old mother motherland, yeah. <laughs> Wonder how many people over here have never seen a motorway or been on a motorway. Imagine it's quite a few. Right, you're pulling in there, that's fine. I can't get past the vehicle behind you. There we go, well done. That's it, pull in there. Everyone can pull in there then. So you're going to pull in behind them. No, he's going to carry on to the next base. There we go. And this car. Thing. It's right, someone pulling in, but they don't always think of the vehicles behind them. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, I'll pull in this gap and get out this truck's way. About six cars behind them can't fit in the gap as well, but you know. <laughs> right. I 
need to go right, but we need no cars to be in the way. <sighs> so my trailer's gonna cut in quite a bit. I gotta wait for these vehicles to come up the hill because I ain't gonna squeeze past them down there. That's good. Thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you. Going straight on. Could be sat here a while. <laughs> That's what I mean, sometimes you got to sort of bully your way out because sometimes you just wouldn't get a chance to go. There's a set of red lights up there hopefully holding everyone back so hopefully no one turns out if a road and comes this way. So, this Range Rover's going to, but sod it, I'm going. You can wait for me. He is, good man. You have to bear with me because I'm trying to accelerate. Cute. Yeah, this road on the right is the one I came out of, but obviously I can't go down that way because it's six foot six going if I go down that way. So yeah, cannot do that. Oof. So I've got to try and squeeze through the town. This isn't too bad, but there'll be cars parked on the road, whereas Sunday there wasn't anyone there. So it'll be a bit tighter today, which is fine. Make do. We always make do. I just have a quick nosy of this. Yeah. We want to make our way to there. So that's pretty much down the bottom of this road. Yeah. Just the right way. We'll just cancel that because we don't need it.
<laughs> busy, busy. Of course, it's summer season as well, so. Oh, look at that. Random second-hand interest in things. What a great name for a shop. That's my kind of shop, look at that. Old set of vinyl decks, like an all-in-one thing. <gasps> they got an Atari in there. Ah. Oh. I would totally buy that. They look pretty close though, so... It's like you have to call them if you want anything. <laughs> waving at me uh, reflection in the window. But I'm pretty sure people in the shop thought I was waving at them. This may extend the video a little bit. I do apologise. It's going to be well over an hour long. Ain't you lucky. Like I've said before, people on the island aren't exactly in a rush. Island life, I take it. When I used to do the Avon over here, I used to speak to a lot of the old A Avon ladies and that. And they do say it is a much slower pace of life over here. Straight through the lights. Someone's reversing into a parking space, which is not handy. <laughs> you leave me out in the middle of the road blocking everything up. Right, make sure you get in nicely, so I need room to get by. Uh, be right. Not like this Range Rover. I'm just gonna leave it sticking out in the road because I'm entitled. <laughs> Funny enough, it was a Range Rover that was stuck out on the road when I was trying to get down to do that, collect that machinery stuff that I had to wait for. Funny how stereotypes work, isn't it? <laughs> station there. Don't do anything naughty. Mind you, I did screw up the other day because I went to go in that lane because I thought I needed cows but that's for east cows, not, um, west cows not east cows. So in fact I needed the middle lane which goes to ride and uh, I was like oh yeah there's a room and I was like oh no I need this one and it was like oh, I was either going to be on the keep clear or the crossing so <laughs> yeah screwed myself up a bit there and right outside the front of a police station as well. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> no one came out and said anything. What time is it? 2.52. You know what, it's taken that long to sort of get through. I might just head straight down to the ferry port and try my best. I hope the other boys can make the R4. They might have the same thing as I did the other day and had to wait till the R6. 
There's someone on me inside, so I've got to watch them. I don't think anyone's come around me outside yet. Oh, there we go. It's always one. Should have blocked both lanes, really. Oh, that light's changing, so our ones will be changing soon. I'm going to have to wait for him to go first before I can go. Otherwise, my trailer's going to cut the inside lane over there. So as long as that car and this van goes, it won't be too bad. Right, here we go. Go, 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 go. Get move on. There we go. Oh, there's a blue car on the outside of me as well. Silly people. Don't you know I can't see you there? Actually, no, they probably don't. Well done. Ah, oh, look at that. Amazing driving. Absolutely amazing bit of driving. I mean, it didn't affect me. I didn't need to take any action or anything, but still. Why, why do things like that? Oh, I need to get in front of the truck! Because the truck's going to hold me up all the time. That's all it is. He's itching like crazy now because he's stuck behind the bus. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, heavy. Oh, you should have chose first gear truck. <laughs> there we go. Out well. Two fifty five. So about ten, fifteen minutes from the ferry port, so we'll be there about uh, about ten past three. So yeah, that shouldn't be too early. So we'll, we'll, we'll try our luck. See what they say. Oof. Oh yeah, you probably want to hear the story about the other Friday. So last Friday, which was... Oh Christ, you're going to hear about this well late. So... Friday just gone. I was meant to finish... Uh, well, it, my boss asked me if I wanted the day off. I said, well, I'm already out. I might as well go do something for you. So he said, uh, oh yeah, I've got one job for you. So you could do that. So I could have been back on the Thursday. But for now, I might as well run the Friday. Otherwise, I'm going to be short pay this week. So... Don't, don't bother me. You know, if he makes us work a weekend, he usually tries and gets us back early or something. So, because I worked there Sunday, he'll try and get me back early this Friday. But because I was working this Sunday, he was trying to get me back early last Friday. But, um, yeah, it didn't quite go to plan. So, I had a load of steel to take up to uh, West Buckland School up near um, uh, Barnstable Way. And, uh, yeah, that's all great. What time shall I get there? I'll try and get there for about half seven, eight o'clock. They're normally on site about then, or, or these places are normally on site about then. I thought, yeah, great. Oh, idea. Well, great idea. We'll uh, aim it there. Anyway, I woke up at seven o'clock. Thought, I'm, okay, I'm about 20 minutes from the school. I'll head up there. Dummy checks, whatever. So I started heading up there. And there was two sort of ways in, but both ways looked rubbish. And I thought, okay, it's the case 50-50. Which one's worse than the other? So it's kind of a coin flip. One way's a, sh a much, much shorter way and the other way's much longer. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll look for the shorter way. So I went through West Buckland. Oh, 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 was that tight. That was proper tight. It was quite high banks and it was narrower than that road I took to get down the farm back there. Literally, I had like inches either side of me to get out of this. I thought, if I need to back up, I'm screwed because I ain't going to be able to back up. Because if I need to tweak the trailer at all, which I would have to get around the corner, I had to get around. I just, it just wouldn't have happened, plus I had cars behind me. Anyway, it was all going okay-ish, then we got to West Buckland itself. 
and there's a corner, a, a right hand corner. And there's buildings on my left and a big wall on my right. And as I turned, I nosed up right up to the house as much as I could and sort of swung around it. So I must have been like six inches from the house probably. And my trailer, the flatbed, was gonna clip the wall before my front wheels even got around it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Needless to say, I, I shouted a, a profanity. Um, so I literally had to just wiggle back and forward about five or six times just to get enough to skim around the inside of this wall and without obviously touching the houses. Most places ain't too bad, like that farm's not a problem because it's just dirty banks and stuff you're going to hit. But when it comes to people's walls of their gardens and walls of their houses, yeah, that gets you a bit nervous at that point because cost for repairs of that sort of thing gets quite expensive. So uh, yeah, it was a bit nerve wracking. Anyway, I got to the school, it's a very posh school. Um, very nice school so I had to get around the back so we had to move a couple of build, uh, a couple of people that are moving out of the way they'd obviously parked their vans up and went to sleep and whatever so one of the guys that was behind me in the car actually went was working at the school so he came up and gave them a ring they come out and moved the van so I could get around the back no problem all good I uh, get there what 7.50 yeah no one turns up till about quarter past nine so I'm like great well, first of all, there was another guy there, but he's not like to do the unloading. He's just like a manager or something. So he sort of come over and said, I'll oh, telehandle the guy's coming. He'll be here at such and such time. Blah, so, okay, that's great. Then he comes over after that and says, you got any way of getting this stuff off? Because um, apparently our digger driver, I thought he had a telehandler ticket, but he doesn't. I was like, no. I said, don't tell me this can't come off because I don't particularly want to be driving up here again. Um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, he's on the phone, whatever, sits in his truck. Eventually a van turns up with two blokes and I thought, oh, that's good. So they've come up and one of them is actually the telehandler driver. So, oh great, they can actually get me unloaded. So they go to their little convenient hut thing with, you know, their canteen and stuff and that in it. Can't find the keys for it. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So then they shoot off for about 10, 15 minutes, then come back, got the key for that. Then they're like, yes, all right, mate, we'll just get the telehandler started. Entered the code wrong, telehandler's now locked for 20 minutes, they have to wait 20 minutes, no, half an hour, 20 minutes, half hour, something like that, for the telehandler to then put the code in again for the for it to start, because it's got a, a code on it. Um, yeah, so I had to wait for that, eventually they got all the stuff off. Yeah, that was fun. Got out of the school alright, no problem, I went the other way through East Buckland. God, did I wish I'd come in that way. It was still tight, but it was nowhere near as bad as the other way. For starters, there was no houses I could hit, so yeah. It was still quite narrow in places, but it was a lot better. It was a lot longer. It was probably about three times as long to travel that way. No, probably even four times as long to travel that way. But it wasn't that tight that I couldn't make anything first go sort of thing, so yeah. So that ended up turning my half day Friday into a nine and a half hour half day. <laughs> it's, it's bad when your half days end up being longer than most people's full days. Uh, madness. Anyway, we're just dipping on downhill now. Just leaving whoops, Whippingham. Heading on down into East Cows. And I can't wait to get this hat off my head because I've got the band on it fairly tight because the camera's quite heavy on the front so the hat doesn't slip on my head. The things I do for these videos for you, the, the pain and suffering I put myself through to bring you these videos, Just very much appreciate that you watch them. You know, the blood, sweat, tears, the suffering, the anguish, everything I go through to bring you mediocre content. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm just yapping away. Yapping away. Nearly there now. Then I'm going to start getting funny looks at people looking at me thinking, what's this idiot doing with a camera strapped on his head? Mind you, it's the Isle of Wight. YouTube's probably not even invented over here yet, is it? <laughs> Remember, the Isle of Wight's still stuck in the 90s. And that's why I love it. I love the 90s. I 
I mean, I was a child for most of it, but it was great. I didn't have to pay bills. I had six weeks summer holidays. I had friends I used to go out on my bike with, get dirty, go hurt ourselves. So the thing is, when you're a kid as well, and you got a bike or roller skates or whatever, you got no fear ever. Whereas now, if I think about doing something, I think, oh, I could injure myself, and then I'll be out of work for three days and can't pay the bills. So you end up not doing things. Whereas when you're a kid, you think, ah, oh, let's see how many people we can jump off this curb. Yeah. Yeah, we used to hurt ourselves quite a bit. Never broke a bone, though. Well, I didn't, anyway. Let's slow down so hopefully we don't have to stop. That's right, the car's got plenty of room to move over. Yeah, I know, engine brake's still on. It's on again. Yeah, I'm going to pull directly over into lane 29, I think. They should be, I mean the ferry's probably unloaded now, they're probably putting the conveniences on and then they're going to start loading it very soon I think. Let's go over to this lane here. Work that engine brake. There we go. If you ever want some nice fish and chips, you've got that calf there with a the blue front. Sea breeze, that's what it's called. Yeah, great little calf. Cook everything from fresh. It's lovely. All right, let's go in there and go straight to lane 29, and then go speak to matey boy. See if we can get on. Because it's not that bad that they haven't got room for me to sit here for a bit. I'll put it on break as well. So we'll stop it here for a minute. I'll bring it back and let you know the situation. So I'll speak to you in a minute. So great news. We are getting on the half past three sorted. So we get to finish, get to get over an hour earlier. So that's great. It means I'll be able to get further up. I mean, I don't know whether I will or not. I'll decide that on the way. So I've got another meal voucher. So I'll probably just get a small snack while I'm there as well. So it's not too bad. But ideal, ideal, it's what we like. Nice. Earlier than usual, it's what we want. Anyway, we'll leave the video there, there's no point showing you much more. What I'm doing is driving on the ferry and that's it. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, it's entirely up to you. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. It doesn't cost you nothing, and why not? It helps support the channel. Also, share my video with someone you think might like it, and uh, leave a comment. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this little POV of the Isle of Wight. I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. Look after yourselves. Drive safely. Thanks for trucking around with Jono. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbyes.